Don Dwyer and WGEM News. Better together. Update that we first brought you on WGEM.com. A man is in the hospital after he drove his car into the Mississippi River in Quincy this afternoon. Ameren, Missouri customers will see a drop in their electric rates beginning next month. People living in an apartment complex in Hannibal are speaking out tonight after multiple gunshots were fired in the area Friday night. Expansion at a local manufacturer in a tri-state city means more jobs. Find out how you can get one. The government shut down this morning, and both Democrats and Republicans continue to play the blame game. NBC's Edward Lawrence digs deeper into the chaos in Washington. Today is Christmas in July for Amazon Prime members. The online retail giant is rolling out thousands of deals. Illinois could see more people qualify for medical marijuana. A judge in Cook County last week said untreatable pain will be added to the list of reasons for people who need the drug. There was also a house explosion in Urbandale, Iowa last night, and firefighters say the major flooding contributed to the explosion. The coroner released the name of the person involved in the train versus pedestrian crash yesterday. This next story, I'm not making up. Missouri lawmakers are picking out a day to celebrate sliced bread. Don Dwyer on WGEM News, the Tri-State's news leader. From WGEM in high definition. This is WGEM News at 10, the Tri-State's news leader. The community came together to raise money for local rescue efforts. Decision 2018, Libertarian candidate for Illinois governor made a stop in the Gem City. And more family fun in America's hometown. It's an event you won't want to miss. But first, a breaking news update out of Hannibal tonight. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Don Dwyer. Police are still looking for the man who shot at a home in Hannibal yesterday. Police are looking for 18-year-old Gary Haynes. He also goes by the name Gage. The shooting woke up residents in the 1100 block of Vine Street. WGEM's Frank Healy was on the scene there today and has more reaction in the neighborhood. I heard three or four shots. And... Police said no one was injured in the shooting. Officers say that he's still out there and could be armed. Anyone with information is asked to call the Hannibal Police Department immediately. And boy, wasn't a beautiful forecast. Sounds great. Thanks for the update, Chelsea. The Quincy Volunteer Emergency Corps has been busy the last few years searching for people who go missing on the Mississippi River. That's why today's fundraiser has meant a lot to their team. There were games and a barbecue cookout at Red Dog Saloon in Meyer, Illinois. Volunteers say the fundraiser enhances their efforts and equipment when they conduct water searches. Dozens of people turned out to support this cause. Because they use their own boat. They really work their tails off. To learn more about donating to the Emergency Corps or to see some of their work in the community, we have a link to this on WGEM.com. Rescuers are trying to save 12 young soccer players and their coach who are trapped in a flooded cave in Thailand. But they're dealing with difficult conditions, including the threat of monsoon rains and oxygen levels, trying to make the rescue happen before the monsoon rains come because an underwater escape could be complicated and also risky. The parents have written letters telling the boys that they don't blame the coach and they have full confidence in the rescue. The decision 2018 covers libertarian gubernatorial candidate Cash Jackson and several other candidates in Illinois met with supporters to talk about the upcoming election. Dozens gathered at one this morning in Quincy. Jackson, a Navy veteran, says candidates not running on either the Republican or Democratic ticket have had a limited voice. He says 50 percent of residents in Illinois are not affiliated with a party, and he believes those people are not being heard. And a lot of people would um, identify libertarians as being really independent. He's also big on getting rid of regulations for small business owners. He believes there are too many hurdles to jump over for people with an idea. Election is on November 6th. Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner is another one of many political leaders who are speaking out against fellow Republican Arthur Jones. Jones denies the Holocaust and has been accused as a racist. He's running for the 3rd Congressional District in Illinois. J.B. Pritzker, the Democratic challenger in this year's election, has criticized the governor for not condemning Jones. Rauner says he tried to keep Jones off the ballot. Yes, and I said so immediately. This is a no room in our politics for a person like that. Arthur Jones made it onto the ballot by running uncontested for the Republican nomination. It's considered highly unlikely that he can beat incumbent Democrat Dan Lipinski.
Two United States Senators that represent the tri-states will be on Meet the Press tomorrow morning. Republican Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri and Democrat Dick Durbin of Illinois will be on the show. President Trump is days away from nominating someone for the Supreme Court. Midterm elections have the topic of immigration on everyone's mind, and each party is focused on voter turnout for November's election. Those stories and more tomorrow, 8 a.m. on WGEM. Coming up on WGEM News. Hundreds of protesters block traffic on a busy expressway in Illinois to fight for an end to violence. Plus, soybean farmers in Iowa are bracing for another blow after more retaliation to the Trump tariffs. We'll explain after the break on WGEM News, the Tri-States News Leader.